Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about some recent quotes that Bruce Arians gave in regards to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers potentially taking a quarterback in the upcoming 2021 NFL draft. Now, these quotes aren't new under any circumstances. This article was written by Matt Matera of Pewter Report. Shout out to you, my bro, uh, on March 30th. So I'm very late to getting to these quotes, but I still thought it'd be interesting to get to uh, get this information out to you guys and give my thoughts on it. So again, thank you to Matt Matera. Thank you to PewterReport.com as always. In fact, they're going to be giving um, a lot of source of information for the next few videos that I'm making regarding uh, quotes around Tampa Bay Buccaneers people. But Let's get into some of these quotes that Bruce Arians gave. This is in regards to him talking about potentially taking a quarterback early in the NFL draft. He said, if the right guy is there that we think is a developmental guy that has the upside that outweighs every other position of those five to six guys that we're looking at, then yeah, we wouldn't be against it. Same thing in the second round and the third round. If we have five guys and one's a quarterback and we think his development's better than those positions, Sure. And then later on, Bruce Arians had talked about, you know, what he's looking for in this upcoming 2021 NFL draft, and this is what he had to say. I think speed on defense, as long as it's speed, because speed is going to help on special teams, and speed develops into really good players on defense. I think both lines of scrimmage, I don't think you can have enough depth in both lines of scrimmage. Obviously, a young quarterback, but again, for me, it's speed and physicality, a love for the game, which we do every year. We look for guys that love love to go and play. I think those things will be the deciding factors in who we're looking for. So there's a lot to garner from both of those quotes. I thought about making separate videos for both of them, but um, you know, Bruce Arians, he's looking for speed on defense. He's looking for depth on both lines. We knew that that was something. Uh, the interesting wrinkle here are those quotes about the quarterback position. It seems like Bruce Arians and the Buccaneers are not opposed to taking a quarterback in round one, round two, or round three if the correct quarterback is is there and is somebody that they really think is better uh, than all the other prospects that they are considering, which is a really interesting thing to think about. Um, but even taking it a step further than that, Bruce Arian said, yeah, we want a young quarterback to develop period in this upcoming draft is what they're hoping to get out of it. So, I mean, that means that, you know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are heavily considering taking a quarterback in this upcoming NFL draft that we know for sure, regardless of what round it is. But then number two is that, again, if the right guy is there, could be an early round guy. In my most recent NFL mock draft, I had the Tampa Bay Buccaneers selecting Kyle Trask out of Florida in the second round. That could be a legitimate possibility. Now, we all know the story about what's going on with, you know, the top quarterbacks. You know, uh, the Jets, the uh, Jaguars obviously are going to be taking Trevor Lawrence. The Jets are going to be taking Zach Wilson, presumably. Uh, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Mac Jones, among other guys. You know, if I missed anybody, you know, those are the top guys. And then you have some very intriguing second to third round quarterback prospects in that mix as well. Kyle Trask being one of them, Kellen Mond, among others. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do in regards to that position. I've been a strong believer of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Of course, they have Tom Brady for the next two years. They're probably going to bring back Blaine Gabbert, but they need a third quarterback as a young developmental guy. They had that guy in Josh Rosen throughout the regular season, and I think if Josh Rosen was still on this roster, this probably wouldn't be a conversation that would be have it, that would be happening right now, but uh, not just myself, but a lot of Bucks fans in general have been speculating about this. The Buccaneers need a potential successor to, you know, Tom Brady and what's going on, you know, at that quarterback position in the next, I don't know, five years, something like that. You know, the Buccaneers need that successor. Um, and I, I think that is a totally, totally logical and reasonable line of thought. And I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should draft a quarterback in this upcoming draft to get that developmental guy to learn behind not just Tom Brady, but Blaine Gabbard as well. I, I think that that would be a very, very solid move to make. Now, I had them taking Kyle Trask in the most recent mock draft. Um, I think that even taking a quarterback in the later rounds is something that could be experimented with. I don't mean to, you know, compare the Buccaneers with the New England Patriots, but it's the only other team that Tom Brady's been on, and we saw multiple times in New England the, the uh, Patriots would select Jimmy Garoppolo in the second round, Jacoby Brissett, I believe, in the third or fourth round, one or the other, and then Jared Stidham was a mid-round selection as well. So they did it time and time again, trying to find that potential successor to Tom Brady, and I think the Buccaneers 
would be smart to do that. You know, have a guy on his rookie contract. He'll play a couple of years of that rookie deal. Learn from just an insanely incredible cast of players and coaches alike and hopefully be ready to go in the next, you know, four years, something along those lines, three to four years uh, when Tom Brady finally decides to retire. I think that'd be a solid move for the future. But guys, uh, what do you think about those quotes? Let me know down in the comment section below. Besides the quarterback talk that we just mentioned, I mean, hey, it's going to be interesting to see what the Buccaneers do on both those lines of scrimmage and on the defensive side of the football as well, because Bruce Arians talked about that as well. So it's going to be very interesting. Look for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to potentially take a quarterback in this upcoming NFL draft. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And again, give me your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.